and welcome. My name's Bill. Uh, I'm going to be your captain today. I just want to welcome you aboard Aquatic Safari 2 and go through some of the new protocols. So first of all, as you leave the car, please can we ask that you put your masks on and we will ask you to sanitise your hands just before entering the boat. As you come to the boat, please could you just leave your shoes in the bucket uh, and I'll explain a little bit more about the boat now. The crew member will tell you where your tanks are and you're free to set up your equipment here, storing any fins and so forth underneath the bank. Please can you make sure that these elasticated bungees stay on the tanks and go back on once you set your regulators up. At the front of the boat here we have what we call the beaver. Simply lift it up, open up the doorway. And this will lead down to primarily the toilet. It is also where we store our safety equipment such as life jackets and first aid. So this is the toilet, uh, commonly known as the head. So simply obviously lift up the lid. Uh, it's good to check there's an inch or so of water because the pump needs to be primed in all safe to work. And all you simply have to do is pump the handle and the water will flow through. If for any reason the, uh, the bowl isn't emptying, just flick this switch here to the forward position and the water will enter the bowl. Just flick it back for more pumps. Everything's gone. Please shut the lid. It'll be toilet paper and again obviously hand sanitizer. Yeah. Please with the toilet, uh, no paper products in the bowl itself. There is a little uh, bin here. Okay. And we ask that when you are in the toilet, in the in the V berth, that you wear a mask. Emergency, uh, we should don life jackets, at which point the crew members will allocate them to you. They slip on simply like a jacket, and then you'll find a cord with a clip, which just simply goes clips down the body. You're welcome then to tie the bottom and the top with simple bow knots. All our life jackets are fitted with a whistle and a torch if we're out in the evening. The safety items on board include a life ring, and a life raft. There will be a crew member on board the boat at all times. However, in a very unlikely situation, you may want to call for help. We do have a VHF radio on board which will be set on channel 16 and we have full instructions of what to say printed there. Please don't feel intimidated by the radio. Uh, in the worst case scenario, just press the button and talk. Other points of interest on the boat include trash can, fire extinguisher, there's an additional fire extinguisher again in the V-Bird. This area at the front here is for you to store valuables, hats and sunglasses whilst you go diving. We strongly recommend that you bring your own water bottles but we will have some cups available for use. This cooler is for your personal storage. We ask that you bring as little as possible and any items are stored in a dry bag. For drinking, you will have an orange cooler which will have a fruit mixture and a red cooler which will have water. We also have an additional cooler in the middle there should you bring your own water bottles or any food items. To ensure that you get the most out of your dive and as safe as possible, we have some additional features on board. Hook a regulator uh, with a regulator here that will hang around about 15 feet. This is situated next to our hang bar which again will hang at 15 feet off the side of the boat which is ideal for your safety stop. In addition to that, at the back of the boat we have a tag line with a, a descent line at the back of that which goes down to around about 10 feet to start off your descent. Cameras and GoPros, we do have a rinse bucket on board. Can we please ask that you don't put any mass in the camera bucket? If after the dive you want to rinse yourself off, we do have a shower on board. Please again, make sure you point this at the back of the boat so it doesn't cover the rest of the divers. Thank you. On the way out to the dive site, the crew will ask you how much weight you need and then we'll organize the weights for you. Uh, we have a combination of hard weights and soft weights. Can we please ask 
that you don't put the weights in your jackets till we actually get to the dive site. Please just store them underneath your equipment next to your fins like so. Once you finish the dives and on our return, if you own your own weight pockets, you're more than welcome to store them in the blue box in the corner there. On the way out between the dives and on the way back from the dive, you're more than welcome to sit up on the front of the boat. Please ask a crew member if it's suitable to take the journey up to the front. And you simply hold on to the handbar here and walk down that side of the boat. Whilst moving around the boat, can we please ask that you mind your toes on these three engine cover hinges, they do have ascendancy just to snag your toe. We highly recommend that you should walk down the other side of the engine cover. I hope that makes you feel welcome on board and let's play some of the protocols we've introduced for your safety. Please can you do a final check to make sure you have everything for a great day diving and off we go.